Why does a country need a constitution? Dear students, by now you all might be familiar with the word constitution. Constitution simply means the physical character. It means that it is the thing which tells about the features of any object or what it constitutes of. Let's come and understand the importance of constitution for a country. A country needs constitution to maintain law and order in the country so that peace could be maintained in the country. If a country will not have a constitution, then there will be a lot of disputes in the country. The constitution of a country tells its citizens what kind of a society we live in and what values the society upholds. It tells the citizens what type of government they have. It defines the powers of the government so the government can't misuse its authority. The constitution defines the rights of the citizens too. So they cannot break laws, exploit other citizens or be exploited by others. Many constitutions have provisions that seek to prevent majority groups from violating the rights of minorities. The constitution often lays down rules that guard against this misuse of power by our political leaders. India is a sovereign, socialist, secular democratic republic with a parliamentary system of government. The Republic is governed in terms of the Constitution of India, which was adopted by the Constituent Assembly on 26th November 1949 and came into force on 26th January 1950. The Constitution provides for a parliamentary form of government, which is federal in structure with certain unitary features. The constitutional head of the executive of the union is the president. As per Article 79 of the Constitution of India, the Council of the Parliament of the Union consists of the president and two houses known as the Council of States, Rajya Sabha, and the House of the People, Lok Sabha. Article 74.1 of the Constitution provides that there shall be a Council of Ministers with the Prime Minister as its head to aid and advise the President who shall exercise his or her functions in accordance to the advice. The real executive power is thus vested in the Council of Ministers with the Prime Minister as its head.